cool thanks if asked great timing just 12 seconds of uh shitty antivirus bullshit yelling i can still be seen <laughs> like i need this fucking anxiety today oh hello yeah. and also welcome we are live for uh episode the second of uh humblewood the electric dice podcast D D fifth edition um you may notice that there are a lot of uh empty spots uh this stream <laughs> Uh, we've cleverly hidden them with an overlay of <laughs> the roll client and uh, filled in a bunch of blank screens with other nonsense. Hopefully that it'll distract you. Uh, <laughs> this is a cat. Actual size. Um, this is a cow. Not actual size. His name is Belir. And this is Onion. And this is Gus Gus. And uh, they are going to join Belir in fleeing from this cat. Uh, you are now caught up on everything you've missed from session <laughs> one. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. The end. Um, so what we'll do first is ask uh, those players who have bravely shown up today to fight my <laughs> monster. Uh, to mm. roll. Um, is fighting, like, the only choice, though? Uh, no, fight, flee, run... Uh, trip whoever didn't show up tonight and feed them to the cat. <laughs> beg for your lives. You just normal, th normal things, normal D and D things. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Uh, but you do need to roll initiative just for the sake of keeping everybody in turn order. Hmm. Okay. Uh. I... That's right. just. It's uh, there. We go. I found it. Yeah. Yeah. So we see this cat come up to us, and immediately three party members faint. They immediately die. <laughs> they die yeah, they and then vanish into nothing. Die again, and also I'm mad at them. Two Thanos party snapped. members. Uh, pretty much the heavy hitter and leaders of the team. Pretty much all that's left behind is the yeah. skulker and a gerbil. I'm, I'm a heavy hitter. Yeah. Uh, a jelly bean and a thief. <laughs> Look around. I'm like, yeah. how, are we, how are we the only ones? The two party members don't even like each other. I'm like, yeah, how are yeah. we the only ones? <laughs> it's true. Oh, uh, God. All this right, is our uh, oh, journey gosh, of I'm how we you. work together. Mm -hmm. Why is your. Oh, jeez. What an incredible roll. <laughs> I rolled a four. Right. It's fine. I got you. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you got a natural one, so great job. Uh, so the initiative order will go Gus Gus, followed by this new cat stranger, followed by uh, Onion. Alright. Oh, I guess gosh. I should roll just a flat oh. 20. What about uh, Belir? Yeah, everything everything else will just go on that four as well. So Okay. Um, even though you rolled a four, you actually go to last. So sorry, Amanda. Okay. Well, oh, look at me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People who are not even here show up, and then you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Well. Come on, fearless jelly bean. I'm a slam down pass without trace and wish <laughs> everyone luck. Right? <laughs> uh, so it's a conscience... Concentration spell that lasts up to an hour. Mm -hmm. um, a veil of shadows and silence radiates from you, masking you and your companions from detection. For the duration, each creature you choose within 30 feet of you, including you, has a plus 10 bonus to dexterity stealth checks and can't be tracked except by magical means. The creature that receives this bonus leaves behind no tracks or other traces of its passage. Nice. That's pretty effective, so, actually. Yeah, I'm throwing that down on essentially, like, the whole party and the cart. I assume we're all kind of by the cart. I'm hoping we're all by the cart. Yeah, I think that you guys were all kind of in this area. Yeah. Um... Did I have any <clears throat> extra skills or anything? Or, like, as a rogue, it's pretty much nothing. No, you should have had a bunch of skills, but... Um, okay. 
Yeah, we did, uh, when we did character generation, did we talk about that at all, or? No. Hmm. I don't know how we missed skills in character generation, but middle of combat is not usually the best place for them. <laughs> nope. Why is that the thing that I would grab, please? Okay. All right, so what I see happening here right now is the very beginnings of a skill challenge then, because you have decided, uh, perhaps wisely, perhaps not wisely, uh, to flee as opposed to fight this awful menace. Um, are you... So I think the first distinction would be, are you looking to get yourselves away or one of you away at any cost or are you looking to get Belir away uh, like buy him enough time because he is slowed down by dragging the cart mm. yeah I think I'm trying to get uh, Belir away and I mean hopefully the party but you know this dude's struggling mm -hmm. so Kind of going to help him out. Right. Uh, but yeah, hopefully he can be sneaky with a rickety cart. Uh, I mean, it, <laughs> like, seems, it seems reasonable. Yeah. I mean, plus 10, what can go wrong? Right. Uh. Okay. No, stop that. Um. Yeah, I guess... Oh, jeez, what am I going to do, though? Well, that was your action, right? Uh, yeah, that was. Okay. So... But I'm just wondering if I should move. I mean, I can try to help pull the cart along, or, I don't know, smack smack Belir on his buns to get him moving <laughs> like a horse. Yeah, I think if you want to move over there, that's good. Um, So this turn will be casting the shadow stuff, running over to him and telling him, like, you know, don't make a sound, don't move, like, and then hoping the shadow stuff is going to kind of uh, hide, right, you from this cat's presence. Yeah. Okay. Um, technically, the cat goes next, so uh, which of you is skilled, uh, trained in, in stealth? Uh, uh, me, for sure. Both of I, I have got a plus six. eight. Okay. If you're both skilled, both of you um, roll with advantage then because of the uh, um, the help. And then you're adding an additional 10 to that, right? Yes. Nice. Well, both of mine are um, 17. Add 10 to whatever I just rolled. Yeah, so 24 and 27. So, so it'd be 34. Mm hmm Sweet. Okay. And I'm just I'm reading uh, what the cat has for its skills. Because on its turn, it knows you're around. We we agreed that it was, like, dusk-ish, right? <laughs> um, so there's, like, a chance that this works. There's, there's definitely a chance. Um, what are what does um the Shadows thing do, do besides give you plus 10? Um, Read the spell again. Yeah, hold on, let me get back to that spell. I can chuck it on here. Oh, jeez. Come on now. I'm chuck it on there, too. Uh, can't be tracked except by magical means. Okay. Leaves behind no tracks or other traces of its passage. Okay. Yeah, so... um. The Prowler here still has advantage to search for you, um, but you've set a 34 and a 27 to find you, so really the only way that this is going to work is if it gets a crit 20. Um, and it gets very, very close. Oh my god. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> so we see it, you know, kind of take in a bunch of air and then, like, recycle it the way cats do, just, like, holding that smell in its nostrils, right, with its mouth kind of hanging open. And uh, it's just tasting and waiting and looking around for you as just like, you know, this blanket of night has quickly covered the area. And Belir's just standing there. He's like, what now? Because he was like <laughs> straining, you know, to try and pull this cart. Um, so congratulations. That is your first 
successful check as this creature has tried to find you. Disgust um, toots. <laughs> so we're gonna put a little smiley face right there. Um, every two, you're gonna get somebody out. Oh boy. Um, and then we'll deal with whatever happens to those that did not escape this fight uh, at a different time. Um, yeah. So then it goes everybody who's not here. So I think, um, Belir is going to try and just begin pulling the cart away. He He's getting away with this. Hmm. So let's have him do... Wow, he's not as strong as I would have expected, actually. Um, but he's got he's got a decent bonus. Okay, so he begins huffing and puffing and very slowly dragging this cart away. Um, we can hear just like the little bit of the squeaky wheel, right? Didn't have time to oil it. Didn't expect that to be an issue. As he begins uh, pulling pulling the cart, you know. What, laden with food, I think that's the word. Laden? 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 Alright. Who would like to draw the next smiley face? Uh, I can draw it? Yeah. Just go yeah. For it. Free hand. Free hand. Uh, smiley boom. That spot there. Boom. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh, what? No. Uh, what the <laughs> hell happened? I don't know what happened, but I made, Every... I made something. Everything's <laughs> fine. Everything went wrong. I'm so happy. What a. What a. Let's just go ahead and zoom in on that because we don't have much content tonight, so we might as well really. Uh... This is. This is the content. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, vote now at, you know, is this a smiley? Yeah, smiley or cryly. Uh, <laughs> whatever, whatever happened here. Um, Oof. That would be a good name for depressing morning things. Cryleys. Cryleys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, uh, now that that's settled, and everything's good, everything's crying. Um, we're yep. going to go and move him about 30 feet, so do that. No, don't forget the cart. Okay. Uh, Onion, you're up. What would you like to do with this horrid situation? All right, give me like two seconds. Yeah. I've learned some of my things already of what I can do. Mm-hmm. Remember but it's sneaky. an attack I was gonna say it's attack thing, so I don't want to attack. I want to get away. Mm-hmm. So you probably, yeah, you, you, you're right. You don't want to attack. That <laughs> I believe rules as written will ruin the uh, pass without trace. So um, I have something called cunning action. It allows me to take a bonus action during each. Oh, in combat, I don't want to do combat. Well, yeah, I'm just technically we're in initiative order. Um, you're you're in combat. You're just trying to get away with it. Oh, so I can take um, a bonus action to dash, disengage, or hide. So mm -hmm. can I just double down on hiding with Mr. Cart? Yeah, so I think um, narratively, I think the way to do this then is like you move in a direction different from him, making noise, and then sneaking away from that noise yeah. right, to draw the attention. Yeah, I, I'm i very like uh, fluent in the woods back from my thieving days. So mm -hmm. I'm going to try to draw attention away from up and double back because I know the route. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you describe a little of that, how it, how it works, and then let's give it a roll and we'll see how effective it is. Okay. Uh, you said describe it? Yeah, I mean, like, so, you know, are yeah, you, are you yeah. like, up on the other cliff and, like, knocking a bunch of rocks down? Do you climb up a tree and make a face at the cat? Uh, no, I don't, I don't want to be seen. Um, so, taking a peek at our area. Um, I'm gonna double back around. Let me, I 
can't draw for free hands. I'm not good at it. You did fine. That smiley face definitely doesn't look like it's cursed. Ignore that shape that I just made. All right. So found it. I'm placing dots. I'm placing dots. I'm going this way. And ah. Whoa! Can I you just move that. yourself? Yeah. Ah! Now I'm placing things. <laughs> okay. Every, every time I scroll, though, it messes me up, and now I'm at the bottom of the screen. Oh God. This is this is the whole stream now. We just we're just playing Tetris. I'm sorry. <laughs> do, 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 do. No snapping. Ugh. Select mode. God damn. Okay, I can't move myself. But uh, into the you. yes, top top. Uh, yeah, right there. I sneak over there. Uh, um, what's in what's in my surrounding? Um, that would that would be the edge of what um, Belir has sort of cleared out. Um, so you're just at the edge of the woods there, right? And then mm-hmm. this area here is hills, right? So the way that this is um, the the windmill in in the in the grind grindstone and everything is situated is basically like um, flat ground up into some rolling hills, right? And then. Mm-hmm trees down All right there's trees and then uh, no why would you get rid of my color Boo. right set into that is the um the the mill right so you guys came mm-hmm. out of it you came out this way. Oh, okay. I'm not in free hand, yeah. am I? Yeah, you came out of it from this way. Came in through the door that was up here, went down a spiral staircase, loaded up the wagon, and then yeah. the wagon exit is out this way. And he's just pulling it back up the hill, which is why it's going so slow. Okay. Yeah, I want to crawl around to the other side and um, look for stuff I can kind of throw in the direction of behind Mr. Big Cat. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, um... I would say you can either use um, your stealth one more time to do this, or you're going to be using a ranged attack or an athletics. I would like to use stealth. Okay. Yeah, so you can. It'll just, uh, you're, you're locked out of stealth now. But on the plus side, you also got a plus 10 to this. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a 29 is more than enough as you, you know, skip a couple rocks and at least turn it so right now it's like okay setting sun my vision should be really good but so for some reason i can't see them i can still smell them i know they're around and now i'm hearing multiple different sounds this way and that way um so it turns and looks at your rocks and then riley would you like to draw the next smiley face oh yeah okay better than i did Mm, freehand smiley face You did a um, really good job. What a great <laughs> smiley. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. So, we did it. We did the thing. Um, what is team tech? Now, is we go back to the top. So, Gus, Gus, you're actually up again. Oh, boy. Because there's three of us playing tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it's going so fast. Hmm. Ooh. Would ship's passage work here? <laughs> What's that? I was joking, because I have a sailor background. So oh, I'm like, right. oh, ship's passage. Um, hmm. Uh, well, let's see here. I'm just gonna help everyone escape. That's, that's what I'm doing. Maybe maybe also throw a rock. Uh, you can. It'll just have to be either a ranged attack or a uh, athletics. S- stealth is locked out for the rest of the skill challenge. All right. Ranged attack or athletic. Or something um, else if you want to suggest, but that's what jumps out to me is. Ranged attack's fine. 
It's in my uh, class name. Ranger. Uh, what is that? Just a dexterity? That's straight up. Uh, if you're doing a ranged attack, you're you're proficient in range, so you proficiency Jeez. bonus plus your dex, yes. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Proficiency bonus. Alright, two twenty is five. Oh god, that didn't work. Crap. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well. Okay. Um, that is exactly what you needed. That is your target number, so it's a good thing you are very skilled. So you... I think this is a situation where um, we're going to misinterpret it, rules as written, or at least rules as I remember them, right? It comes off your hand a little wrong, hits the tiger, or hits, like, the prowler in the face, right? <laughs> like, what? Right, but, like, we're not going to count it as an attack, it's doing damage, but it, you know, shakes its head and just does, like, this vicious yowl, and everybody, oh, right? Like, you're, you're <laughs> good little animals, you know what I mean? There's a jelly bean and a possum here. In any normal <laughs> world, in any normal situation, you'd be fucking terrified. Um, and in this case, like, what the hell else are you supposed to do? Um, so on the Prowler's turn, it is actually going to try and fear all of you. So I want you each to make a DC 14 wisdom saving throw. So I'm modifying so, the stat block slightly. So I have a question, yeah. because I try to stick with my party this whole time. Mm -hmm. Would you say that I am within, like, five feet of another party member? Um, rules as written? Or, sorry, rule. Uh, no, because no one else is here tonight, so you hate to see it. Wow, okay. You can go ahead and <laughs> yell at them for not being here. Aw. So what's annoying is Dave wants to see the long boy and they got rid of the skeleton that we based him on. What? I know. And I don't know why. They must have just like a limited amount of um like space for things. Okay, but... so what did you say is wisdom? Uh yes, DC fourteen wisdom. Well, oh, I could be a spell thief. What? Uh, arcane trickster. Hmm. But I'm not. <laughs> Far from not. Hold on, I'm doing a thing. I'm doing a thing for best friend Dave, who showed up tonight. Look at him. Mm -hmm. one of our viewers he is one of our viewers Yay, viewer. so I saved and clipped long boy yeah, as you can tell it. because it's literally that's the grid it's not even transparent it's <laughs> <laughs> like I just saved it one time to like make a thing so this is there you go. this is very sad but there's our long boy just crawling <laughs> his way onto, onto stream just for you Dave Thanks for coming out and supporting us. Mm -hmm. We are going to hide him down here to not scare anyone. Um, I mean, I just got feared, so... <laughs> uh, I mean, And Amanda, you need to roll as well. Oh, was it, sorry, yeah. wasn't safe? Yeah, that's correct. My bad. I guess, if, I guess if we put him right here. Oh, there we go. Ah. We'll put him in Mike's spot, since Mike's not here. My wisdom's so low. Hey! But it's the 12, right? It's the 12. That's correct. Okay. Uh, we got it. We got there. We got the long boy. We got him on the fear. So that's good. So. Am I also scared? Yes. Both of you are scared. You're also both taking 17 points of damage when this prowler 
screeches its yowl after getting hit in the face with a rock. Um, the all of the the area around you, uh, rocks are thrown and blasted. This thing has summoned up a, an avalanche. And, oh god! And just like this rush of rocks in debris and other refuse has just come call you know falling off of the the low hills that you are escaping your way through now i don't imagine that actually puts anyone down because you are level five right uh yeah i'm good Uh, it's just a lot it is a pretty big hit especially as an aoe how's Um, our pal balir doing is he getting out what's that is is balir out of there is he uh, dead? No, he he is uh, damage is not going to impact him in that way. It's a f- impacting the the heroes. I'm just All looking right. to get um, four four dots on my thing here. Four successes before you guys get your your six. So you guys have a lead on me right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, can't we literally just run away at this point? Uh, That's what we have to do anyway. <laughs> On your turn, you can continue fleeing, yes. Um, so right now, one person could get away scot-free. So if somebody just wants to be like, yes, I leave, that's fine. Um, you get one more smiley face, and two people can say, yeah, I leave, that's fine. Um, <laughs> to get all three of you away safely, you have to hit the six. Okie dokie. Mm-hmm. So uh, the tiger has gone, which means it is now Belier's turn. Um, he did an athletics, but Riley, you did a ranged attack, right? Yeah. Okay, so he has one more athletics he can do, and that athletics is locked out, so we'll have to figure something out next round. Um, but he's pretty decent at it, because he's got a plus six, I believe it was. Yeah, plus six. Okay, uh, so he puts another dot on there as the cart is now, if we're following this uh, long boy thing, the cart would be, uh, you know, like up to the top of the hill um, and ready to like abscond into the, the forest. Um, that will create its own issues, actually maneuvering it around, but it means you're not getting eaten by a cat and that seems uh, pretty good. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna do the next smiley face. Oh, how are we doing with the fire right now? What do you mean? Uh, isn't the area on fire? I don't remember the area being on fire. Did I forget something? No, that was the the other site that they told us to get away from. Oh, okay. That's not a smiley face. Yeah, it is. Look at his buck teeth. <laughs> Look at him. He's so happy. I didn't judge your smiley faces. I am not judging anybody's smiley face. That's also not true. I definitely judge the smiley faces. Yeah, like, like, wait a minute. My, like... First thing, right off the bat, I was like, wow, look at that fucking smiley face. <laughs> okay. Um, Belir has gone. Um, the rest of your party members are not technically here. We're going to deal with that later, uh, which means, Amanda, it's your turn. Ah, um, you got strength. Use your strength. It's true. There's one more strength available. One and then more. two of literally every other skill that exists. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? One strength, one more strength available. Look, if you have a strength or an athletics, um, you could just get behind the cart and start pushing it and helping. Oh. Or if you want to use a different skill, you can do that as well. My athletics and my strengths are both minus one. No. Nice. So you want to do something <laughs> different? Save hey. athletics for me. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, well, so, like, I'm st- am I- I'm still over here, away from everybody, right? Yeah, but you can double move on your turn, so. Yeah, I'd like to uh, hightail it back to the cart area. Okay. Yes, yeah, so the first thing you do is pew, rush right back. No issue. Rush right back. No issue. Mm-hmm. Um, can I, like, 
I know I can't really uh, help push because I'm weak, but can I like take some things, like start shoving some things off the cart that don't look important? Um. So that, like, without Bully or knowing, just so he can go faster. So you want to steal? <laughs> no, I want. It. So you want a sleight of hand? I want to slide a hands them. Mm -hmm. I want, yeah, I want to get some stuff off the cart that uh, make it a little easier for him to move. I think I like this idea. Um, mm -hmm. I think it works. The 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 devil's bargain, so to speak, is going to be that it works and he goes faster because he has less to to pull. Um, mm -hmm. But there's really no way to do this other than like throwing a bunch of shit on the ground. Like you can you can pocket some of it for you, but like. Yeah. You're you're gonna lose the, a little bit of food, but at at, at the cost of m most of the food gets there, right? Yeah, and that that's kind of where I'm at. I I just want to get us out of here, like chuck some food in the opposite direction that we're going, so mm -hmm. that it's like, oh, maybe we went that way and dropped some stuff. Sure, I don't no, believe I, I, it. I actually think that's super funny. Um, yeah, I, I like it. Let's let's go for it. So sleight of hand. Nice, you got it by one. I want you to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know how, how tight that was. Ooh. You've been rolling a lot of nines tonight. A lot of nines Ooh. and a lot of ones. A little bit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's mostly flour. It's mostly, you know, like, grain and, and flour that has been pulverized by this mill, right? He's he's yeah. bringing a lot of food. It's uh, just, like, heavy sacks, and I, I don't... You can tell me how this looks, but I feel like there's no other way. That's like dagger to the back, like two stacks, and they just pour out. Yeah, so I'm. It, that's essentially it. It's like I stab it, and they start pouring, and then um, like, w like half of it immediately falls out, of course, because they're not stacked very well. So I kind of do this thing where it's like I start tugging on it, and then just like twirl myself around, and just fling it in that direction. Mm -hmm. No, that makes sense. All right, uh, that was a success, so go ahead and draw one more uh, smiley face into the next spot. I will try my best. I believe in you. As a fellow artist, I've seen your work. I think that, I think that you have this within you. <laughs> so when, when I do the drag the line thing, it moves my screen, so I'm going for a pointillism effect. Oh, interesting. Uh, stipple in a little smiley. It worked. He looks so evil. I love it. <laughs> All right, I'm done. It actually kind of looks like that um, that dog emote that Riley that you posted that one time with the eyebrows, like. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's like side looking, like. Mm. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um. Yeah. So the tiger. No, 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 man is the bottom, so Riley, you're up next. So you could close it out if if you succeed here. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to do my athletic prowess mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, Look, and help, you and help shove proud. the cart. <laughs> you're so strong. I am, I'm so strong. Nice. I'm a strong mouse. It's like yes. how an ant can lift ten times its body's weight. Which is yeah. still nothing, but you know, yeah. So, with all of his jelly bean might, Gus Gus gets behind a single wheel <laughs> and just pushes. Uh, but it's enough. Almost right? almost gets caught under the wheel. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. As Artibus suddenly is like, oh, you're helping so much. And it's really like Onion dragging the last bag and slicing it. Just like, he's very strong. Look right. at him. Congratulations, Riley. Go ahead and draw us our last smiley face. And y'all oh, have, have oh, in boy. fact succeeded in fleeing. Hooray. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, so ah, Okay. We 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 have uh a lot of time to kill and not a lot of content, so go ahead and uh we're gonna we're gonna vote on Twitter who drew the best uh, smiley face tonight. Oh no! Cast your votes now. I cast your votes. <laughs> whoever I drew two of them. Whoever wins gets to live. Yeah. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Dave said Moobot. 
Damn it. <laughs> Move on That's, to the he past. He doesn't even go here. <laughs> he goes to another school. You wouldn't know him? That's good. <laughs> Uh, Mike didn't get back to us. I told him to hop on if it looks like we're still on. So, whenever he's done with what he's doing, maybe. Oh, Mike exists now? Yes. Yeah. Uh, he's doing fish dad thing. Fish dad. Fish dad. That's pretty good. It is good. Okay. Uh, we've got our smiley faces. We got our long boy. Uh... Congratulations. Some of the, the feed has gotten out of uh, the mill and, and on its road towards... Uh... I keep hearing weird noises. Who needs flour? Yeah. Were we supposed to, like, accompany this guy or just get him into the forest? Um, you you, you have that choice, right? Um, so you get him away from the thing. We hear the, the tiger kind of, like yelling and hollering and screeching and wandering around and pacing back and forth like Belir's probably not going to want to go back to his mill alone um, but also there's like a fire that's encroaching and coming this way um, so you guys you know take him probably about an hour down the road before it's like it's just too freaking dark to, to really see anything and to move safely but you put some distance between you and this cat um, you guys made it here very fast and that's actually what you, you you didn't like break the module or anything but you you beat my expectations i expected that you would get there and the tiger would you have just killed him um oh. and instead you saved him so well done got unlocked the secret uh extra good ending um you could oh, just go cool. back now you could be like well this is who we get to save right but there's also a very angry turtle out here somewhere and and i think, I think it was a hedgehog porcupine Porcupine, yep, yep. Yep, so there was Bloot, Blair, and Swisslid. Old Swisslid. Old Swisslid, that's right. Is, who, who's closer to us at this point, Bloot or Old Swisslid? Um, if I'm remembering my notes correctly, um, Bloot was the furthest out, and Swisslid was kind of in a weird direction. Right. Um, Bl well. Blair was the closest. Oh, yeah. Swiss is the opposite direction of blue. Uh, yeah, um, I, they're, like, they're like a weird uh, like triangle. triangle. Yeah. yeah. Well, Maybe. I'm cool to try and make our way to blue because Swiss Lid is mean and a snapper and threatens to eat people. That is true. That is and true. I am not about being eaten. It's true. We There's also to, less in here than normal. We need to talk more about the angry turtle, apparently. Oh, Dave likes the turtle. Yes. That makes sense. Oh. I know. Uh, uh, describe the angry turtle for Hannah. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, do you guys do you remember the knowledge checks cause you succeeded in, on with Old Swisslid? I think I failed that. Oh. Yeah, uh, only only Mike's character did, and only from like information that was like 60 years old. Yeah, so Mike, <laughs> yeah. Mike's pigeon's super old. Uh, old yeah. Swisslid is described as a snapper who has always been a recluse living out in the woods, living in his little pond and not letting anyone come near. But when Mike's character remembered him, he was like, yeah, I remember him being kind of grumpy. And I feel like I remember be there being a second turtle, but he didn't have any more details. And then nowadays, it's no one is no one even goes near him because he's like, I will eat you if you come near me and probably has. Uh, so when the fire started coming to good old Humblewood, uh, everyone was just kind of like, sorry, Swisslid, guess that's what you get for being a jerk. I mean, he lives in a river. There's water. Yeah. But only I know why Swisslid's really upset. Uh, is he, uh, is he mad at Mike's character? <laughs> they used to be BFFs, oh, and now be... they're not BFFs anymore. Yeah, Mike's character was rude and racist one too many times. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally forgot about his existence. <laughs> All right. Well, I've been conscripted by our uh, dear friend, the Talon, which grapples the sun. So I'm stuck doing whatever he's doing. Yeah. 
you stare at him, but there's some weird connection issue, and he doesn't <laughs> reply to you. <laughs> he glitches I... through a few trees. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, follow me! I... Follow me! And he doesn't actually tell you where he's going or walk. He's just sitting in follow me. the ground. Yeah. I, f- I feel like he'd be going after Blue, because because uh, Blue would seem like some sounds like someone who would welcome somebody trying to help them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that follows. What do you say, Jelly Bean? I mean, which one is the fire gonna hit first? That uh, is a good question. Yeah, uh, Blue would be the fur- the furthest out, and therefore the most danger. In the most danger. All right, we'll go for blue. Okay. Uh, I wanna, I wanna use my fancy knowledge that at least I just happen to know how the woods and stuff work. Yeah, tell me a little more about that again, because we glossed over it a little last session. Yeah. You have like uh, bounty roots or smuggling bandit. roots? Bandit. That's what it was. Yeah, I I used to work with the uh with the coalition uh haven't really told anybody around or told you guys that I barely know y'all mm-hmm. uh but like kind of do my own thing uh worked with the coalition don't work with them no more because they got me locked up in jail <laughs> uh humble jail so, <laughs> humble jail uh so um the roots don't change they're the same roots we just keep quiet about them right um, but yeah, I am familiar with the roads of the wood and escape paths used by bandlet band. When I am not in combat, me and my companions I lead can travel between locations that cut through forested areas twice as fast as speed would normally allow. Yeah, I also have a fancy add-on to mm-hmm. that too with the natural explorer thing too. Mm-hmm. Which does what? Um, difficult terrain doesn't slow your group's travel. Your group can become lo- uh, can't become lost except by magical means. Even when you're engaged in another activity while traveling, such as foraging, navigating, or tracking, you remain alert to danger. Um, you know, if you get twice as much food if you forage while tracking other creatures. You also learn their exact number, their sizes, how long ago they passed through the area. Blah, blah, blah. It's a uh, forest is the favored terrain. So, like, if the bandit roots are, like, a little less than uh, easy access, because they're, of course, hidden, um, and not easily seen, yeah. uh, it won't hinder us or cause the party to really... Better if there's, like, danger. Yeah. Yeah, no, you, uh, you guys are really which made makes for sense with the band, Which makes sense with the bandit roots, because uh, they are not they're still being used by everyone. Yeah. Cool. No, I, I, I like it a lot. I think it works perfectly. Um, so I'm trying to remember exactly how we did this, and I should have written it down. Um, we did one survival check last time, um, and then I want to say we either did, for navigation, either it was an intelligence check or maybe a nature check. Uh, uh, it was a nature for their skill, and I believe... Um, I don't know if it was survival. I see survivals and natures last time we rolled. Yeah, it was. Um, was sur- I, I think checks. I rolled survival. Yeah. So, yeah. So let's do. Um, there's two of you, so one nature, one survival. I'll get survival. Alright. I got some nature. Is this with advantage or just regular? Um, right now we're just going to take them regular. Alright. So 16. Okay. Yeah, um, so I think that you guys make, um, pretty excellent time. You, you're, uh, I think we had three days, right, to do everything. Um, you have to camp at some point. That was kind of what happened with, with Baylier. Um, yeah. you're kind of talking and, and figuring out your next plan. Um, so assuming you guys were okay with camping with him or did you want to camp elsewhere um i think safety in number yeah we got it in that far sure 
Okay. Definitely. Go ahead and um, just return your HP then uh, back up to full. Awesome. Oh boy. Yeah. So you got back that all squared away. Thirty-six. I'm back up to ten times my normal HP. <laughs> so I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> that seems about right. <laughs> Um, so yep, you, you, you hang out with Billy or you get your long rest and then you immediately in the morning get on your move. So we are at, um, you know, one full day and, uh, four hours into it when you guys make it all the way out, um, uh, to, to like the first little interaction. It's going to take a little bit more to get to Blue. Um, but there's something that you notice uh, before you get to him. So who uh, who has the higher passive perception? Uh, so it's 10 plus your per- uh, perception skill. Uh, where are you, passive perception? I have three. Okay, so you have 13. Where yeah. are you, perception? It's under nature. Oh, under nature. Uh, 15. Okay, so Gus Gus, our little jelly bean, you notice... And I think that makes sense because I think you're the one who also can can tell who's moving through an area and track them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you see four or five sets of tracks um, next to each other. They came onto the road at, at the the little bandit road at a weird angle, followed it for some time, and then broke off of it. Um, and then I I think that you know, your, your perception is really more kind of like keeping an eye out. Well, did they come back onto or did they, where, where are they going? Right. And you see a clearing, um, where that there was very clearly a scuffle within the last couple hours, probably in the early morning. Um, and then everyone who survived that scuffle kind of took off away from the bandit paths in a different direction. What kind of tracks are they? Um, it looks like it's a bunch of humble folk. Um, and I'm and you identify them, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna lock myself into them because I don't know who survived yet. Um, mm. But the thing that is very striking is um, the largest of the the tracks. The the de facto leader is either a ferret or a weasel. Oh no! And then as oh, you man. sniff the air, you can taste his stink. Or her stink, I guess it doesn't matter. Their stink. Smells like skunk here. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, So, like, having having come from the Coalition and and this potentially being bandits since they were on the bandit path, Mm -hmm. uh, would I I have any perception of, like, who might be uh, in charge of these? Ooh, you want to try and dig through your memory banks and figure out just who the hell is walking here? I I, I want to know who's walking here. <laughs> who's walking, who's walking here? here? Who's walking here? Yeah, Yo, you look hungry. You want a good everybody's bear? Everybody's assigned to different areas. Like, everyone's got their own room. Make yeah. sure to get you good berries this morning. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and roll your history. You get advantage on this roll. Because my history is only one. Yeah. Ah, look at that. Six. Um, so you remember um, when when uh, Gus Gus identifies it as a uh, ferret or a weasel, um, it all comes rushing back to you. You're like, oh no, I know who this is. This isn't good. That is Zor Viper Pit. Um, Ooh. Known for that as someone who fought his way out of a den of a massive snake. Right? And they gave him the honorific Viper Pit. Uh, they gave him the honorific Viper Pit, mm-hmm. but a lot of us talk behind his back, uh, and we're pretty sure that he's stretching the truth a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't think he killed ninety nine snakes single handed. I, <laughs> I don't I don't think he killed that many either. He probably killed a couple, yeah. but like I think he I think he stretched his truth a little bit because there was no other survivors right yeah i mean you know that's how you get away with it though yeah okay. so what are you thinking you so think is he a ferret or a weasel uh he's a weasel okay. he's a real weasel there's a difference <laughs> there's a difference <laughs> <laughs> it's true he's not wrong yeah, I, I tell I tell Jellybee uh, 
That's my new nickname for your character, by the way, because we don't really like each other. <laughs> God damn it, I'm not a jelly bean. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I tell jelly bean and whoever else may be listening in our party. Um, Everybody, pay attention. <laughs> a little bit more about Zor and like um, uh, the the like what he does for these roots. Uh, a little bit of his history. Gossip a little bit about his name. Yeah, so he's a bad guy. Um, yeah, but bad bad guy's subjective. But he's he's kind of bad. Ah, so you say associated with bad guys, huh? No, I just I do my own thing. I get around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I happen I I I happen to grow up around here. Yeah, just just minding your own business. As Do, anyone doing, does. Doing the right thing. Of course. Well, feeling, yeah. Feeling like a personal attack here. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> We're all surviving here. I saw what you did with that cart. I helped him get out of here. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm watching you do the eye thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Make sure you have your good berry. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you... So, there appears to be some scuffle. They clearly lied and wait for someone and then jumped them, grabbed them, whatever yeah, it was. I'm... And it's Zor's know. feet walking away. What's that? And it's Zor, Zor's feet are no noticeable walking away. Yeah, yeah. Definitely definitely sur survived the encounter. Um you don't see any uh, blood. You don't see, like, a, a dead body or anything, right? Like, whoever they took, they either took with them or they, you know, scrapped them up, took their stuff, and kicked them along their way, right? It's not entirely yeah. clear. Yeah. Uh, so, with the with the uh, bandit roots and stuff, I know something called Thieves Camp. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's just the uh, language of thieves. Yeah, yeah, language and codes and stuff. Um, do I notice any weird stuff around? No, they didn't leave any, like, sign or anything. Any... Oh, okay. Yeah, you, if you run into them, you can kind of get the idea of, you know, you can either listen to them talking and get an idea, or you can, you know, talk to them in such a way that you're like, I'm in the know, um, but this guy isn't. I brought this mark here. You want to, you know what I mean? And, and yeah, play them that yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. Do we want to sneak in and see what's going on, or do we want to just kind of get out of here? Uh, does Zor walk off in the direction of a uh, blue of where we're going for? No. no, it would be a different direction, unfortunately. So you okay, gotta, you got to balance I mean, what you have time there, for and what you want to do. Yeah, there, like that. Where we we know this blue character, like this is going a different direction, and he could be bad news. We we might want to get as like get there before the, the fires come. Alright. I'll just be extra cautious. Yeah, yeah, just like be aware. Okay. I'm gonna start I'm gonna just start like scrambling up in the trees. Sure. Um so go ahead and each of you roll your survival in nature one more time. Um and it's gonna kinda inform uh the setup of the, the last scene. Um because okay. we're we're doing a shorter game tonight since we're missing people. Okay. Um, so the survival, you get there comfortably, you get there quickly. Um, the nature, uh, being a, lo a little less than that means it might not be the most advantageous, adv advantageous position. Um, and you don't have a lot of extra information on what you've encountered. Um, so I think the first thing that you think when you arrive in more, and, and it's like, we're, we're playing fast and loose with the medium here, right? Cause it's like you don't know where this this creature is living you just kind of have a direction and a time frame of how yeah. fast you're supposed to be moving but right like if it were the video game we'd be like okay we've loaded the right area right we, we fast travel to the right part of the map where are they you know um yeah but you notice what's very concerning is um it looks like the fires have already reached this area which doesn't oh. really track because you're only at a day and six hours in um and you've been moving you know you moved over two days worth of travel at this point and you're like wow we really like that shouldn't be the case. The fire shouldn't already be here unless somebody's mistaken. 
Um, and I think the more you look at it, you see it's not that the fires have been here. It's just that, like, you're on the edge of where they had been so long ago that stuff hasn't come all the way back. Um, things that have grown here are uh, scraggly and dry and, and rough. There's a lot of brambles, a lot of sharps, right? And it's just kind of bleak and dark and ashy looking to begin with. Um, and you're kind of like... You, you've got that foreboding feeling we'd have um i don't i forget exactly what it is um like musically speaking right but it'd be very like somber and foreboding it'd be very ominous we'd, we'd feel would, like, hmm? oh it would be exactly like the scene in mulan when they're seeing a girl they're fighting for yeah, and then they get to the burnt it, down village and then it gets real quiet <laughs> yeah, I've actually never seen Mulan, but it sounds like oh, the, the tonal qualities I'm looking for. It is. The it village is exactly. just burned down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it gets, like, really, like, cinematic and just super sad. Yeah. Um, And I think what we've run into is, uh, finally, when you... Because you spend the next, you know, little while trying to, okay, like, are they safe? How many are here? Is there anyone else we can get out, right? Like, what's the situation? Um the group sort of stumbles upon um in very tight quarters uh oh oh no right uh what was it blute right blute blute the blute the porcupine what the hedge folk or whatever yeah um is trapped um and this is pretty grotesque right but in in the rib cages of some giant beast right um, like this is this as you alluded to earlier, Amanda. Right, this is a jail, right? Um, mm-hmm. Some giant, you know, moose creature or something, you know, was killed here long ago, and its bones had been repurposed into this jail. So there's this like sad porcupine stuck, cramped, without enough room, right? In in between these bones, so it's all like dark and macabre. Um, and like he doesn't even see you or hear you as you guys walk up, and uh, you're just you know it's shot in such a way like oh oh we, how are we gonna get him out right like drama. What do you guys do? Yeah. Uh, Has he seen us yet? Mm-mm. I don't know. I don't trust this at all. I wanna I wanna chuck pass without trace on us again. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be my favorite favorite spell. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll me... You use nature, right? You're a ranger? Um, I am a ranger. Yeah, go ahead and roll your nature again. Oh, boy. It's not my strong suit, oddly enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that, like, the I, I don't know exactly what, like, verbal, somatic components are involved in it, um, but I think Blue hears, sees, smells, or senses the magic, right? Mm-hmm. And sort of, you know, puckers up, you know, sniffing. Oh, please, please, who's there? Please, please, please! Well, I'm not necessarily hiding from him. I just mm-hmm. want to hide from whoever I think put him in there. Sure. So do you say so, something, or do either of you say yeah, something? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up to him and be like, "Hey, buddy, we'll put you in here." He's like, "Oh, oh, you gotta get me out." Um, and when you get close to them, you see, uh, their eyes are old and cataract. Oh. Oh man, you can't see, can you? <laughs> you just can't no. ask somebody that. No, no, I can't. Uh, and it's I'm gonna be honest; it's pretty scary. Oh man, did do you know who put you in here? Do you know what they smell like? What they sound like? And he like, it's not. It, this is the jump scare of the movie, right? Like he's not <laughs> trying to scare you, but he runs into the cage, and the whole thing like rattles and makes like his quills upon the bones make all of these like screechy, scattery, oh, like Mackie. undulating noises. What? Oh, uh, just cringing. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's 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 uncomfortable. It's awful, right? He's like, yeah, it was a bird. Okay, all right, man, calm down. You gotta be quiet. We're gonna get you out of here, but you gotta be quiet. Here, have a good berry. Right, and he's like <laughs> mumbling and talking, right? And uh, this is the last, you know, the last scene of the night, right? Is just a shadow of a bird over, right? Just shadow crosses 
the two of you and then lands in like you know the smoky orange sun in the distance which i imagine you guys look up yeah uh, yeah all right so the camera's shot in such a way onion where are you are you pretty close to jelly bean did you let him go up i let him go up i'm not, I'm not up there with him i'm kind of just standing back and Mm-hmm. keeping aware of what's going on around me right so your hands on your pouch back up against a tree kind of peeking around the corner right yeah um and we see and the bird you know uh my camera's too uh small <laughs> right throws its wings up and goes ah, here you what here yeah god damn it because he was just saying you got to be quiet you got to be quiet and the bird landed oh. threw its wings up and said yeah i hear you Mm. and um yeah so you say god damn it yeah and we see the the title right so before it was backlit right we see the title um and it's one of the um jackdaws that we saw from the opening scene of the first episode right Mm. um and the subtitle tells us that this creature's name is bird x magma claw Oh, I hate Bird it. X Magma Claw. Bird X <laughs> Magma Claw. Yeah, they uh too many titles. Yeah, they named Ugh. they named themselves. Yeah. Is it just yeah! Right, and puts its little hands up. Alright <laughs> And then you know. Totally tubular <laughs> And then the episode How ends. Cowabunga! <laughs> Hang loose! <laughs> So I he just, just claw. <laughs> I try not to let like my games interact with each other too much. Like I like to make like sneaky references to them, but I try not to do like over like ham fisted. Just but like <laughs> apparently I'm writing about crows and that's all that's happening. So <laughs> I got I got nothing for you. It's that's that's what's happening today. We're we're doing we're doing birds. Uh, uh well. Yeah, so I will also say in my notes to to talk about um, how to do uh, the birds, it just says um, uh, Ra, oh yeah, Ra, all right, in excited Tristan's <laughs> voice. <laughs> Which I don't know if you ever remember him making that noise, but... I do. <laughs> do you remember that voice? Yes. Yeah. It was it was uncomfortable, but like I was just trying to figure out how I was gonna do it, and somehow it just spoke to me, and I was like, oh, now, now we know how all of the all the jackdaws talk. Oh boy, so makes sense. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. Uh, short episode. Thank you guys for uh, showing up, making a little making a little time for it. We got an hour in, so that's exciting. Yeah, I'm sure everyone will be pleased that they're not dead, as far as I know. Mm-hmm. I might have to punish them somehow. <laughs> punish them with this bird. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. The, like they get to fight the bird this time. Bird act, yeah. magma claw. I slip through the bars of the cage and I just eat good berries with my friend yeah. <laughs> watching the show. Yeah. It's. it's uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, um, any closing messages or are we good to get out of here? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good. Right. Only you can prevent forest fire. Damn. Topical. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, cool. Thank you guys for playing. Chat, thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, we are back in two weeks, hopefully with the full cast. Um, and if not, Onion and Gus Gus are going to have a heck of a time fighting Burdax Magma Claw. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> we're just, we're just going to ride him around it'll be fine if you get on his back he can't reach you oh right yeah he's a shadows of the colossus creature (laughs) yeah Yeah. all right cool well we're gonna get out here thank you Bye. bye bye